everyone, so today I'm going to be doing my jewelry and sunglasses organization. This is just going to be a really quick short video on some of my kind of tips and tricks of how I like to store my jewelry and sunglasses, so I thought I would share them with you guys. So let's hop right in. Alrighty, so here is uh, one of the boxes I have some of my sunglasses in. So nothing too special about this box. Um, you can use any sort of box you want. And then on the inside here, what I've done is, is that I have gotten a uh, foam board. So I got black foam board and then gold foam board. You can choose any colors you want though, obviously. And then I've cut them um, into making kind of like dividers and then using a bit of hot glue. So, and then it just kind of comes out like so. And then I have another layer down below here that again is um, a divider with that uh, gold and then they kind of just pop in and out like so and then I've made this middle divider here quite a bit taller than the rest if you can see there so that the top level sits on top without like crushing the sunglasses if that makes any sense so as you can see here this is kind of what it looks like not in the box so I just have a foam board here and then I've used hot glue to kind of slice the dividers like so so that's kind of how that works. It's a really kind of easy way to divide up your sunglasses if you don't want them all piled up amongst one another. And then this kind of just nicely pops back in here like so. So you can do this with any size box. I have a smaller box that I also have cut up smaller uh, foam boards for. I was going to do a tutorial for this, but I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Um, you can kind of figure it out just by looking at it. If um, you do want me to do a tutorial on how to slice the foam board, let me know. But um, it is really, really, really simple. So that is how I organize my sunglasses. So this is recently what I've de decided to use to organize my kind of bracelets, bangles, cuffs, etc. Um, my dad uh, wasn't using this anymore. He was using it for uh, like sorting different nails and tools and stuff like that. So I'm pretty sure you can find something like this. Probably though, I'm sure craft place like Michael's has something like this, but I think he got this probably at Home Depot. And uh, so it's really handy uh, for sorting my bracelets. So I'll just open this up here. And as you can see, there's different dividers and you can remove the dividers. If you can see these little notches here, these um, little things slide out like so. And um, it makes it really handy for dividing. What have I done now? I'm breaking things. Okay, so um, I've kind of made these two, these three back sections here a bit bigger to put like my big um, bangles and stuff in, like so. And then I've kept these ones into more smaller squares. So it's a really great way to kind of just sort them um, to however you please. And then that way you kind of don't forget what you have kind of kicking around because everything is quite visible because the bin isn't too sh uh, deep as you can see like so. So I've really been liking this and then it's really handy as well because you can kind of just sh shut it out and then oh, there we go. So you can just shut it like so. And then it has a nice little handle and then when you shut it, um, since it closes quite tightly, like the bracelets aren't all falling if that makes any sense. So that is really, really handy because you can kind of either tuck that under your bed or put it in your closet and um, it's quite narrow so it kind of nicely tucks away. So I've been really liking using that. For finer necklaces, I re like finer, the chains are thinner is what I mean by finer. I um, have this little stand that I got at a local boutique, but I see these all over the place with these little hooks and I really like to hang my necklaces that have smaller chains on here so that I'm not worried about them getting tangled. So I really, really like to use that. And then I have this jewelry box here from Urban Outfitters, which is where I have organized my rings and these little dividers here. And it also comes with these little drawers as well, and uh, which is really, really handy. And um, this foam thing came when I bought a ring at like some little boutique somewhere. So it's kind of handy because it has these little dividers, like not dividers, little slices that you can pop your rings into so I have that in there and then I have another a ton more fashion rings kind of just kicking around in these little drawers and this bottom one is empty yep 
it's empty. So that is kind of my little um, organization for my rings. All right, so this last thing is in my closet. So if I sound a bit funny and if the lighting's not really good, that's kind of why. But I like to use these hooks here for kind of chunkier necklaces and stuff like that. So you can get these little hooks or these bigger ones here. And I use that to kind of hang my necklaces like so. So I really like that. So I use this for my larger jewelry where kind of uh, the chains getting tangled isn't as much of a concern. So I'm able to kind of pile on a lot of different necklaces into those hooks. You can get those basically all over the place. Walmart and a uh, ton of other stores will have these. So that's what I like to use for my bigger necklaces. Alrighty, so that concludes my video. I hope you guys found this helpful. If you have any kind of tips and tricks that you use, please tell me in the comments below or leave it as a video response. I'd love to see it. And I hope you're all having a great week. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.